Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Eric Lee at the Springfield Baptist Church, and I'm wishing you an extraordinary day. We thank God for the Lenten season, and I thank God for this morning's devotional video. Our devotional video comes to us in part from a young lady named Amanda Gorman. Amanda Gorman, who on January the 20th, 2021, became the youngest poet to ever participate in a presidential inauguration. The poem she wrote is published in a book entitled, The Hill We Climb. And our devotional comes directly from this poem. I thank God she was 21 years old then. She's probably about 24 years old now. On page number 19, she quotes from Micah chapter four, verse number four. She says, scripture tells us to envision that everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree and no one shall make them afraid. If we're to live up to our own time, then victory won't lie in the blade, but in all the bridges we've made. That is, that is the promise glade. The hill we climb, if only we dare it, because being American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we step into and how we repair it. Amanda Gorman gives us a testimony gives us a light, a pathway to making the world a better place. It's an extraordinary poem. I encourage you to share it with your family. She talked about the hill we climb and she used the hill we climb as the path it takes to make the world a better place, to make America a better country, to restore broken people, to restore our own brokenness. She calls it the hill we climb. I've been coming out to the International Horse Park now for about 20 years. And there are several hills out here. And I've gotta be honest with you. I used to curse the hills. I used to talk about the hills. I gave them ugly nicknames. I talked about the hills like a dog. But now in my older years, I realize that the hills are not the enemy. The hills are the opportunity. The hills are the blessing. The hills give us an opportunity to be made whole. The hills give us an opportunity to get to the next level. And so I wanna challenge you the way Amanda Gorman challenged us as a nation more than three and a half years ago. I want to challenge you more than three years ago. I want to challenge you to find a hill and make that hill bless you. It's not the hill that's the enemy. The enemy is gravity. The enemy is not what you can see. The enemy are the forces that are pulling against you that you can't, that you can't see. There are powers and principalities that are pulling against us today. But I want you to know, you can make it up your hill. Lord, I thank you for my hills. I thank you for my mountains. I thank you for all that you brought me through. I thank you, God, for how you're using this hill to be a blessing to my body, to my mind, and to my spirit. And I thank you right now for those who are going to be elevated because they're doing extra today. And I thank you, God, for what you've done and for what you're about to do. I pray 
that today be an extraordinary day of service, an extraordinary day of study, an extraordinary day of fellowship and relationship. And I pray God that you would do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think as we climb the hills in our lives and as we give you the glory from a higher level. In Jesus name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. Have an extraordinary day. Now it's time to do it again.